in this example 3, we want to find the term that is independent of x in the expansion of 2x cubed minus 1 over x power of 12. So, as the previous example, we have to compare two x cubed minus one over x power of twelve with a plus b power of n, and then list out the value. A is equals to 2x cubed. B is equals to negative 1 over x. And then our n is equals to 12. And the last one is our r. So we don't know the value of r. So just leave the question mark here. As we want to find the independent of x, It means that the highest power of x is equals to 0. So, now we have to use r plus 1 term formula. Tr plus 1 is equals to and choose r a power of n minus r b power of r. And then substitute, the, substitute all the values that we have. So, here... 12 choose r. Our a is 2x cubed power of 12 minus r. And then negative 1 over x power of r. Try simplify all the bracket by using law of indices. So here 12 choose r. And then, 2 power of 12 minus r, x cubed power of 12 minus r also. And then here, negative 1 power of r, and then x power of negative 1 power of r. Try to make x as a single term. So here... 12 choose r and then 2 power of 12 minus r here x power of 36 minus 3r and then here is negative 1 power of r and then here x power of negative r okay our last line is 12 choose r, 2 power of 12 minus r, and then negative 1 power of r, and then x power of 36 minus 3r minus r. As we want to find the independence of x, so we need to compare this term of x with x power of 0. Okay, so now we compare x power of 36 minus 3r minus r with x power of 0. And then we can equate the power only. So, 36 minus 3R minus R equals to 0. Here, we have negative 4R equals to negative 36. And then, R, e R is equals to 9. So, now, we know that our R is equals to 9. So, we substitute back. We substitute back into t r plus 1 
equals to 12 to r 2 power of 12 minus r negative 1 power of r x power of 36 minus 3r minus r So, when R is equals to 9, so here T is equals to 10, then here 12 choose 9, here 12, sorry, 2 power of 3, negative 1 power of 9, and then X power of 0. Calculate all the product for the coefficient of x power of 0. So now we have negative 1760.